Hey guys, I'm Eric Valland. I'm a lifestyle portrait photographer based out of New York City. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Braun Control app, and more specifically, the alternate mode that you can find in the advanced settings of the Braun Control app. What this does is it allows you to go ahead and have a really fast recycle time, faster than a single strobe could recycle, because what you're doing is shooting with one and letting it recycle while you alternate down the line of the other strobes that you have at your disposal. So this allows you really quick capture, really quick recycle times, or you can go ahead and use the alternating lighting on your subjects and portraits to get really creative. So there's a number of things you can do with it, and now we're gonna go ahead and jump in and I'll show you how to set that up on your Braun Color Cirrus Mono Lights and in the Braun Control app. So you're gonna see that I have a couple of the Cirrus already set up behind me, but I wanna set one up from scratch just to show you. So what we did is we turned on the light, and now I'm gonna go ahead to my center command dial here, press it once, and I'm just gonna spin around until I highlight the Wi-Fi selection right there gonna tap it in again, which means Wi-Fi is selected and blinking, and I'm just gonna go over to on. What that's gonna do is it's gonna engage the Wi-Fi on the Cirrus. If there are no other Cirrus on, it will create its own network, but what it's gonna do is see the other Cirrus that we already have on currently, and it's just gonna go ahead and join that network that's already been created. So now that we have our Wi-Fi turned on and connected, we have to go ahead and assign a studio. So we're sitting here in studio one. It's an arbitrary number, but I wanna make sure that all my strobes are on the same studio. So I'm gonna click my selector dial again, and I'm gonna dial it down until I get to studio here in the menu. I'm gonna click it on there. You see we're in studio five currently. I'm gonna bring it down to studio one so that it joins the rest of our lights here in the group. So now the Wi-Fi is on, all of the Cirrus, and they're all on studio one. Once the Wi-Fi icon has stopped blinking, you know that it's successfully joined the existing network that you have, and everyone's in unison here on studio one. The next step is to get online with our app now. So we've created the Wi-Fi with our Ciro strobes. They're all in Studio One and working together. Next step is gonna be jumping in here to our settings, turning on our Wi-Fi, and now joining the Wi-Fi network that the Ciro's are generating on their own. So what we're gonna do here is go into the network settings, and we're gonna find Braun Studio One, and the password is gonna be Braun Control, but there's a capital C in there. So it's B-R-O-N, capital C, Control and we hit join, and it's gonna go ahead and jump on and join the network that our strobes are making as if we were at home or in the studio with a Wi-Fi network going in the room. Now that we're connected to that, we're jumping over to the Braun Control app itself. Now that we're in the Braun Control app, we've got everything set to Studio One on the back of our Cirrus. Now we just need to set up Studio One within the application. I hit over Add Studio. Studio One comes up as our default. That's what we've been using. I hit Add. And what it's gonna do is instantly pop up a little group here. And when I light that up, it's gonna take a second to search and you're gonna notice the cognition lights are gonna start blinking on all the Ciro strobes that you're using. What that does is these cognition lights allow us to identify each one of the lights here within the app. So I can adjust the power all together of all the strobes, or I can go into an individual one and adjust the power there. How I change the color is simply by changing the lamp number. So this is lamp one, lamp two, lamp three, lamp four, because they're all separate numbers, they have separate colors. Everyone's communicating now, we've got our app set up, our strobes are ready to go, so we gotta dig in a little deeper in our app to find that alternate mode that we're looking for. I'm simply gonna hit the more button here, and it's gonna bring up a couple options. If we skip to the bottom, you'll see free mask slash alternate, and that's what we're looking for. By selecting alternate here, it shows us the four different Ciro's that we have in Studio One that we're able to use in this advanced mode. At the same time, it shows our categories, active or weight one, two, and three. Now this is where we just start assigning them. So I've got four lights, and I want them to fire at four different times as I take four different photos. So I'm gonna have my active one is gonna be my main one, and I'm just gonna set it up here. Lamp number one, blue, is active. Waiting now for one to fire is this guy. Weight number two is gonna be our, our lamp number three. And weight number three here is gonna be our final guy on the end. And what this does, after I hit apply, sets it up so that when I pull the trigger, instead of all the strobes firing at once, this guy's gonna fire first, the second one's gonna wait for another frame, and then another frame, and then another frame. And this is great because it allows me to fire really rapidly, giving my strobes time to recycle, so I have really fast recycle times. And you can also get really creative with this too, for creative control and different effects in the studio. Cool, so now that we've arranged the order of the strobes and how they're gonna fire, we can go ahead and apply that and back out here on the main menu, you're gonna see a little alternate up there on the top right, just a friendly reminder that you're in alternate mode and that your strobes are gonna be firing in order rather than all at once. So now you can just go ahead and take your transmitter, this is an RFS 2.1, put it on your camera, 
and it's gonna go ahead and fire them in order, that one, this one, that one, and so on. And then it'll go ahead and reset, and you can get back to shooting. So now that we have the Brun Control app all set up, and we've got our Cirrus ready to go in alternate mode, let's go ahead and grab our model and take some shots. So for this particular shot, we've got our model, and I've got four different lights set up. And what I did is I put a unique gel color on each one of the lights. So for our main light over here, I've got our Focus 110 umbrella, one of our Cirrus L units, and a red gel. And by having a different color gel on every one of the lights, it's really easy to see what that light's doing, what the quality is doing. So I have some with a reflector and a grid, others are shining through soft boxes, and like I said, we've got one umbrella up front. So this is a cool creative exercise to create a neat photo that I can then animate, but alternate mode is also really great because it allows you to burst mode on your camera. So if I burst that shot down, press the shutter, it fires off five or six frames, the lights alternate throughout and I can see individually what each one is doing and it's even more enhanced by the fact that I use gels. This is really straightforward to do once you get alternate mode set up when you're working with a static subject. But when you have someone that moves like a model, I like to set my camera on a tripod put my camera in burst mode so that every time I push the shutter button, it fires multiple frames, and then I just ask my model to hold really still while I'm taking that shot. And then that allows me the ability to either stitch those multiple photos back together, loop them in an animation, or just leave them as is, which is really kind of cool because you can come away with a lot of different effects and creative different looks that you might not have when you were originally setting up your lights and firing them all at once. There you have it, alternate mode, another really cool advanced function that you can go ahead and access from the Braun Control app. Now we covered how to set it up, how to turn on your strobe so they get on the network, how to set up the Braun Control app, then how to set up the alternate mode within that app. And then this is just a really creative way to show you how you have that extra control and you can see what all of your lights are doing, how you can have fun with it, put it together as a GIF, or bring it all back together for one final combined photo. So make sure you check out the Braun Control app and all the advanced functions out there, especially this alternate mode, because it's really cool for fun creative shots like this, and it's also really helpful when you're looking for really fast recycle times out there with multiple strobes on location.